So for IQE number three, the first question is, how does the Bernoulli equation take into account the viscous and turbulent effect on the kinetic energy term? And so the Bernoulli equation as the kinetic energy term needs to take into account these two effects, essentially because these two effects cause the velocity of the fluid to be different in as like a function of the radius. And so closer to the walls, the velocity will be slower than the velocity in the middle. And so how uh, we deal with this is essentially we take the average velocity over a uh, cross-sectional area, essentially, and then we add a correction factor, alpha. And that allows us to essentially approximate the changing velocity with respect to radius uh, in the kinetic energy term. As, as can be seen here, where the normal velocity squared over 2, where we change it to velocity average, and then we change it to alpha, where we multiply by alpha. And for number 2, uh, kind of along the same lines, asking about the kinetic energy correction factor, uh, we have air flowing through a 12 centimeter diameter pipe at 0 0.05 meters cubed per second. It comes to a section of a pipe where the diameter decreases, which causes the velocity to triple and the static pressure to decrease by 0.2 kPa. Assuming, assuming state 1 has a kinetic correction factor of 1 and the process is zero head loss, what is the kinetic correction factor of the second flow? And so we are given a lot in this problem. We're given the first correction factor. We're given V1 and its relationship to V2. We're given diameter 1. And then we're given the difference between P1, P2 and P1, which, in which pressure decreases. And so P2 minus P1 has to be negative. And then we're told to find alpha 2. Uh, we can assume Z1 is Z equals Z2 because we're given nothing in the problem. Uh, and the properties we'll be using are density of air and gravitational acceleration. And so we can start out with the general uh, Bernoulli equation, but kind of uh, switch around. So that's state 2 minus state 1. So delta, delta H or delta T equals P2 minus P1 over G. All uh, kinetic energy term, and, uh, height change term. And we can get rid of the height change because Z1 equals Z2. Uh, and then the next step is to find the two velocities. And so we're given the volumetric flow rate and uh, diameter 1. So we're able to calculate V1 from those two. And then we're given this relationship to V2, which then gives us 13.3. We plug all those in, including the difference in uh, pressure, to get a kinetic correction value in the second flow of 2.